sometimes life is just design. I should just dress up, go outside. Have a taste of it. Yeah. This is nature talking to you. How is your day? <clears throat> I mean, currently I'm out here boiling, you know, breathing that fresh air, that good solar energy just hitting my head, man. You know, like smooth, smooth, bro. Feel the peace. Just imagine you and yourself in a beautiful, um, on a beautiful yacht, you know, just admiring the ocean and letting nature talk back to you, you know, relate with your thoughts and then share their insights. That is the feeling there is when you are walking in nature. Give yourself that pleasure and just enjoy it. Like breathing that good aspirin. Wow. Almost feeling like the sun is giving you a gentle massage around your neck. magnificent beauty be so big you are unhuggable you know that should be a definition of yourself to everyone say I am too big you can't hug me for that is life Life is not designed for you to be hugged by someone. Nature is too big even to have friends. Okay. We connect at different levels. Life is not your interpretation of facts or data. Life is life. Your opinion, no one really cares about. Okay. Stop expressing it. You are only important because someone else is there. For you to even have a conversation with them. That's your importance. Other than that, we are all just us. Own up to you. Stand tall to you. Because only you is you. Nobody else. No one will ever love you as much as you love yourself. Here again. No one will ever love you as much as you love yourself. So, if your expectation of life is that you find somebody that will complete or compliment you, fundamentally, you have lost the essence of life. 
in truth because you can't make your life what you want it to be yet you want somebody else to do it for you I think that's that's a misconstruction of how we ought to embrace life is my view I am showing you what I see so that you can grasp clearly that what I see is not from just this being it's from nature okay the divine source of creation that manifested as a handsome black boy you know Je suis dans les rues de Memphis fléau de la pègre. Okay. I am the guy every bad guy don't like. Do you know that? The good people are worried about me because They don't know from where I come from. No, the bad guys, they worry about me because they know who I am. They know where I come from and they know why I'm here. So, gents, what's it gonna be? cannot be excommunicated from earth I was already excommunicated from a congregation a congregation a group of people putting themselves together to decide over the destinations of humans nonsense realign with yourself God has already embedded you with wisdom, with creation, with manifestation. You have your unique talent. Use it. You don't need to combine or associate with another or something greater, better, or more peculiar. <coughs> Just be you. Be you and you will flow in you endlessly, incessantly, pleasantly, seamlessly. Be the maker of your own reality. There is no case for a judgment. Christ died already for our sins so we can enjoy life without any worries. You too. Enjoy your life without worries. Don't join groups or co associations. They are thieves of your time, your resources, and your energy. They don't want anything good for you, they want what is good for their project. They are just using you to get to where they want to be. So come to that realization. Draw your own demarcation line and then decide to become you. Because if you do not <clears throat> decide to become you, 
Who do you think will become you in your place? You know. I mean, we want to, we want to be lazy. You know? Like we choose to. Okay, would you want to do it for you? The ideas came in your mind. You saw them happening in your head, yet you want someone else to do it. No. Go out there. Okay. Go out there. And you two go do it. No. Hello. Yeah. Go outside and be happy. Enjoy the smoothness of my head. I know life is happening for you and for everyone.